What's up, chat, man? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 83. Now, I will tell you guys, I did not, uh, I didn't know what to do today, really, because I'm not really the biggest, you know, speak on public events and everything, but this last week has been pretty crazy, and I thought it would kind of be ignorant to not talk about a little bit amongst you guys that are in here all the time and amongst, you know, the YouTubers that watch this. Uh, I pretty much, I feel like we wanted to talk about it a little bit every night for, uh, during my stream a little bit at least, right? You know what I'm saying? But, uh, so I said, let's talk about it a little bit before we do the show. We got a lot more to talk about on the show as it goes on. You know, I got to talk about, we're going to do more wish list stuff. We're going to do more. I have a mutt invitational tournament. I want to introduce the people that are going to play in that. And we got to vote on a couple of awards because I ordered my trophies. I actually got custom trophies. I didn't get like order them online for eight dollars. I got some real nice ones, custom metal worker working on them, so they're gonna be dope. Uh, I got five awards, so there's only a few we gotta really vote on, but we will do that later in the show. All right. But um, as you guys know, uh, uh, another man was killed. Another black man was killed a week ago. I wanna I wanna say a week ago. It wasn't before the show last week. I wanna say it's been about a week, uh, and it's. It's pretty tough uh, that, you know, that continues to happen. And, and as far as that specific instance was pretty, uh, as pretty much as bad as it could get. And um, it, it caused the, the country to be in a, a uproar of protests and everything like that. Donnie, what's up? But uh, uh, for me, I, I, me, myself, I'm in a tough position, man, because my whole life, you know, I grew up around black people. They're my best friends and my girlfriend is black. My family one day will be black. My entire wedding party will be black because they are my best friends. Uh, and that's been me since I was 13, 14, right? So for me, I was always super comfortable around the different race, always. Like it was like second nature almost. So for me, when I, I would talk about these things openly, freely and have any opinion and my friends could always respect it because they know who I am. You know, they know everything about me, you know, my family, how I live, how I think, and how they are, my, how we have such a good relationship, right? But when you get, you get, you know, in, have become, once you gain a platform like I have, now there's tens of thousands of people listening to you that don't necessarily know you. So it's a tougher way. It's, it's a weird change for myself and where I could say anything freely and even, you know, and now it's so much, you guys don't know my heart all the way. And, and not necessarily you guys, but, you know, everybody that follows me on social media doesn't really know my heart the same way. So for me, in the last four or five years, that's been a tough transition, so to say, you know. But I feel like I've learned it the right way and, and learned that, uh, learned how to deal with that. And I've also said, man, this whole week, like, what can I do with this platform? Now, I ask you guys, what would you guys do with this platform if you had it? Now, I'm not, you know, Kim Kardashian or, you know, anybody with a huge platform, but uh, it's some of the platform more than most people have. Now, I would ask you guys, what would you do with it if you had the opportunity, man? For me, I'm not really sure what I can do uh, really all the way. And that's what I ask you guys to help me because, like, you know, I, like if you had my platform, what would you do? Um, because I, I feel like there isn't enough we can do and, and it's, it's tough because... I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a problem you can throw money at. I don't think it's I, I really don't know what the answer is for myself, you know, because I think when you get in this country, I don't really know what the ultimate goal is, what can stop these problems, because racism to me is just it's it's a wall. It's like a it's people's minds that stop, you know, like like it's not something you can I, I feel like it's not something you can fix you know I feel like it's tough to change people that have lived with that mindset and that attitude their whole lives you know what I'm saying chat Kep I, I agree but I feel like it's just such a tough a tough barrier you know and, and that's what I say about listening man one thing about this whole situation man from it's always about I, I all I see is like Everybody just showing what everybody's doing wrong. You know, I, I feel like that's such a tough, it's such a a bad outlook, man. We got to start looking at all the people doing right things and, you know, what they're bringing positively to every situation, man. Because 
the one thing I, I, I want to take that I want to tell you guys, no, seriously, I want to tell you guys this is like the one thing that I 1 million percent can try to teach you guys is that, bro, you're, you're never going to change how somebody feels, man. And this is, I learned this a lot for sure. Like, no, for real, man. But I learned this a lot when I went through the Twitter stuff when I won the Madden Bowl, right? At first, and that's kind of what go back to what I started was I was not able I had to transition to where now there's tens of thousands of people judging what I say as opposed to 10. You know, I wasn't good at that at that time. Um, because I would assume just, I just kind of just assume everybody knows who you are and knows your heart, but that's not the case. And uh, so for me, the one thing I tell you guys, man, you can't tell people how to feel, man. That's the biggest thing that I just, it just hurts me when people try to tell other people how to feel and what they can be upset by. And on top of that, you cannot, you know, tell somebody how to act because they feel some type of way. You know, if they're really hurt by it, and the one thing about racism, man, it doesn't affect everybody the same. It doesn't. We, as white people, we don't have those type of situations or that type of negative or that type of, you know, life. You know, so we can never truly understand what it feels like. So you can never really be upset for somebody for feeling really upset about something. Honestly, you cannot tell people how to feel, and that's the biggest thing I've learned my whole life. And I've learned it from when they killed me. For all the racist stuff on Twitter, man. And I, I was like, why do you guys feel this way? And I learned that, man, you cannot tell people how to feel, man. And I've always felt that. I've always learned that from that situation. That sometimes people will just generally not like your opinion and all that. And, you know, and you cannot try to turn it. You just got to accept how people feel, honestly. Dior, what's up, man? That's all, man. And it's just, and it was crazy about the the protests are cool and and I seen and one thing about it, man. And and Jacksonville learned me to try to like Jacksonville taught me, or what I try to do in even the worst situations, right? You gotta find some little sliver of like positivity, cause otherwise it's like you're just gonna be depressed, right? Like, Jacksonville is the most depressing shit that has ever happened to me. And I hope, pray to God that it is, will always be the most depressing thing ever. But you got to try to find a little bit of light. And for me, with Jacksonville was that we all became super close. And we all became, like, really a family afterwards, after that situation. And that was the only sliver of positivity that I, we can take from that, you know. And when we talk about this situation this week with, with you know, everything going on, man, the positivity is like, at the end of the day, man, a lot of Americans really came together and really put forth a lot of effort as far as protesting and everything and really being together. You know, obviously there's always going to be, there's always going to be people on the other end of the spectrum. There always is. That's never going to change. You know, no matter how much protests and riots happen, it's never going to change, man. You know what I'm saying, Chad? AG, my God, thank you. You know, it's never really going to, change that there's always people on the other end of the spectrum and for me it's, it's how can we take this one sliver of positivity out of it and i'll tell you about the riots man uh I, it's crazy to say that, bro they kind of worked man i feel like the rioting and the burning shit it's 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 crazy to say this man but it like it has made it a national like just completely every single person has it's on their mind every day you know, it really has. And could you say the same thing as if they just sat out and, uh, you know, in some street and stood there for 12 hours a day? Seriously. Like, the, the fact, like, the riots, are, it's like, it's terrible to really think. But, bro, like, they burn shit down. Like, it really worked. Like, it's all we're talking about. Like, seriously, it's really all we're talking about. And uh, it's all that's on every news, every, all 24-7. You know, so it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. It, honestly, it did, it, it really did uh, kind of work. You know, it's crazy to say that, but I don't think anybody said it like, bro, it, like, wait, it worked, you know? Um, for, of course, Legend Man, you definitely should never need to riot for this, man. But it's like, and, and we talk about the president, for me, Man, I don't know shit about politics. I hate talking politics because I don't know anything. I really don't know, like, 
I learned what I learned in elementary school. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I don't know anything about that. And one thing about me, in, 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 in a certain situation, man, like, if I don't know anything about it, if I'm completely ignorant in a topic, I, I don't want to really talk about it. Because I feel like I can't add anything to the conversation. I'm only going to sound like a dumbass. And my opinion isn't, I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable enough to have an, an opinion. That's how I feel, you know. And uh, but for me, the only thing that I I have an opinion at no, Donnie, no, I I'm, I'm not a po- political person. But the only thing I have an opinion of is leadership, man. I really do. And uh, obviously, Trump, and and you know, it kind of America's obviously all this stuff is about votes and you know political parties and everything. And I've never been. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I've never been hip to all that. And I think everybody has still has an agenda. Everybody. Like, everybody has an agenda to get somebody voted, get themselves voted, get somebody out. I feel like so many people have agendas that, to me, it's just... Uh, just. But that, all that's being said, about I know about leadership, man. From whether it be sports, from whether it be playing sports, to whether it be with my friends, my family, everything. Leadership is huge, man. I, I learned, you know, started that you know, in Boy Scouts with leadership, you know, I never went to the Marines or anything like that, but, you know, leadership and and authority figures and being somebody that you're proud to follow is like, for me, is so important, you know, and I think this was a golden opportunity for the president to be a super leader, you know, and as much as this, I feel, as much as, you know, the country was kind of like broken apart, between, you know, the, the Democrats and then the, the Republicans. And, you know, some people just really hate Trump. You know, it, it, this this week was opportunity for him to, like, kind of, you know, bring everybody together. You know, and I don't know. Obviously, he doesn't have the personality for that and know when to uh, kind of sacrifice some of his his beliefs, I guess, or his attitude or his, you know, pride or his ego, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I feel like, bro, he had an opportunity just to really bring everybody together and really make people say, damn, that's good. Like, how would you? Yeah. You know, so that's, that's why I was a little disappointed, uh, because I I always feel like, damn, I kind of love the situations where it's time to like, it's time to be a leader. I kind of, I kind of love that. And see how people react to it, you know. And then I don't think it was brought the right way. Yeah, I'm for sure, man. Social media really, or not even social media, camera phones <laughs> have changed everything, really, man. And and I don't know how to. I don't. I I have zero idea how to fix anything. I really have none. And that's that's like one of the problems with for me with not talking about it, but one of the problems with this. I don't know what to do. I don't have a plan. You know, I have no clue how to how, how to fix any of this none i don't even have like if you gave me a week and a whiteboard and a marker right down i don't know what i would do you know chat yeah, yeah don for sure but i don't know what to do but uh, it's definitely a topic that i have been talking about with my girlfriend all weekend or all week um because like when i said and 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 what's scary chat is that I have did the, the, the interracial dating probably for 15 years now, you know, f- 15 years. And this is the first time where I've kind of been nervous. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I, I've kind of been nervous about our future and obstacles we will face because, I don't know, I guess it goes back to like, I'm more in the spotlight of the whole world or I see everything that goes on in the whole world more than I did 10 years ago. You know, and and it's rough. And Cap, yeah, you're right. Everything does start at home. Uh, everything. I and I talked to her. You know, listen, we talk about this all the time, and and we talked the other day. And I said, authority starts in the household. You know, like respecting, uh, just people, just leadership, and and not. I don't want to say your elders, but authority figures, man. And that starts in the household. That starts your father and mother. You know, honor your father and mother. That. My, my dad always told me that's the first commandment with the promise, honor your mother and father. And that kind of builds someone's character if they can, you know, honor their mother and father, honestly. Yeah.
Yeah, but yeah. I in politics for me is something I feel like it's intimidating for me because I feel like I'll never know enough to be <laughs> educated, you know. Yeah. But I don't want to talk about this too much. I mean, because and, and, and I've also didn't know how to handle myself as far as man do should I is this some stuff where you gotta not stream or not put out videos or not talk to you guys. I, I really don't honestly I don't know how anybody knows how to like behave right now. You know, I like you know, I'm not a protester. I think that I think it's super scary. I really do, man. Like I don't think I could I it, it because man it goes back to Jacksonville, man. I'm, I'm, when I say I'm afraid of everybody, like, I'm afraid of everybody. Like, everybody walking down the street, I'm, like, literally, like, not afraid, but, like, aware. And I feel like the protests would be super scary for me to be in right now with the way my mind works and everything. Yeah, Kevin, I, I feel like, I, and I've always been, like, a positive like love conquers everything, you know. I feel like it always works out in the end, man. I I really do, um, but it's tough to say, you know, because I it, like I said, it doesn't it doesn't affect me the same way as it affects other people, you know. That's all. You know, yeah, we've been on this life a long time, and we're, dude, segregation and, and differences in people's minds and races have been here for longer than us, and it's going to be here long. Like, look at this, like, it's going to be long after we're gone, and you know, our kids are gone, probably, you know. Nobody will ever agree. No, and and the, like I said, the biggest thing I want you guys to, that I can help you guys realize is you're really not going to change people's feelings. It's I feel like it's, that's one thing. It's impossible to change people's feelings. It's hard enough to try to change their mind. It's impossible to change their feelings. So the biggest thing you guys can do is accept how people feel, man. Like that's rough. I mean, I, honestly, King Tank for sure. I felt like it was kind of you can't just keep going. You can't just keep going on like ignoring it. You know. Yeah, as far as the like the police and the arresting the police and all that, I, that's it's just it's never going to be a good balance. It's an impossible balance at this point. Ch chat, you understand? Like the balance is impossible because it's just. I wouldn't want to be a police officer. I wouldn't want to deal with police. I, I just that that whole situation is scary because you got to you know it's like it they're the people that are supposed to protect you and you want them to protect you from the bad guys. Uh you know, so you want them to have power, but then they're using it too far. They're doing obviously OD to the point where they should be arrested that it's like you know, where is the line, right? And not, that's another question. I don't have an answer for that. I have no idea what the answer is. You know? I don't know what that... And that's why it's hard for me to say, this got to get changed. I have no idea what the answer is. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know what was going on in their mind. I really don't. Yeah. But honestly, I don't want to talk. I mean, we can. It doesn't matter. I'm not, my God, thank you, man. Yeah, Jesse, it's like, sure, I'm not, I appreciate you. Yeah, the corrupt, and, and it's like, I don't know how to ever change it, you know? And I think it's like, it's, it's so much, we, we all have so much passion for it, you know? But it's like, what can happen to change it, you know? I, I, I don't know, I, that's why, <laughs> like, I don't have a clue, it's like, what I feel like I always have a plan for something. Like I got a, I don't have a plan. Like I don't know what rule could happen. Cause like, say they take the, the officer and they just put him away for life, right? Like, okay, so they, all right, say they put the officer away for life, right? Now you're a police officer for another twenty years, a, a separate police officer, and every time you enter one of these situations, you got to be like, 
I don't know. Kind of a little more timid. Actually, you have to be timid. You have to be like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just I feel like it's a tough thing to do to put like to lessen, you know, give, I don't know. I think police, I wish police were had the, you know, we all had 100% trust in them and our faith in them to always make the right decisions and everything. Yeah, Hawk, I, yeah, I, I don't really know how to say what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Hawk, you're right, man. It could get handled right 9,999 times out of 1,000, but one time it's just... Yeah, crazy. Uh, yeah, one day, maybe. One day, maybe if everybody dies off in, you know, 200 years from now. I'm doing my part, man. I'm uniting the world, man. Interracial lifestyle, man. It's scary. Now, it really is scary. Like, I'm, like... Because I feel like as much as, you know, this is how I feel about it, right? As much as, like, obviously, our, every community is mad one way or the other. And the racist people are super mad. Like, they got to be angry. They got to be looking down, upset at everything that's going on. And, and it's affecting them negatively, right? I'm just f- afraid walking around with her. I, I just really, like, it's a nervous time for me as far as that. But, yeah, I don't know. And sports have always been, like, a melting pot, I guess. You know, I feel like I feel like sports have always brought races together, really. I mean, if it wasn't for sports, a lot of things. You know. It's like, yeah, maybe lesson. I don't know. You can't deal in, in hypotheticals and I don't know. Just go, what's up, buddy? I mean, I'm, I think I think everything could always be better. You know what I'm saying? Facts, MVP. It is rough. I honestly, I really never thought about it until like this, until like this week, really. Chris, all right, what is that? I mean, Chris, but then you go, all right, so rotate the police in and out of areas, man. Like, I wouldn't want to be a cop at all right now. Like, that'd be super rough. It'd be super rough. It'd be super rough to be a cop, you know. Alpha for sure, but 10 years ago, social media wasn't this crazy either, you know? And that's one thing. Social media is just everybody. Right now, it's just everybody saying, looking, look at what this person's doing wrong, you know? Like, look at these people that are wrong. That's what social media is to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm right and they're wrong type of shit. You know what I'm saying? That I... Man, yeah, but I just feel like it's they're they're wrong and I'm right type of vibes everywhere. Burn, no doubt, man. Hell yeah, it should be on Twitter instantly. I said, I always feel like love conquers all. You can't tell people how to feel. That's all. And and one one thing, man, all, I, and I try to tell my girl all the time, man. I I always feel like trying to change other people is <laughs> impossible, man. But you have to say, what can I do with myself? What can I do with my thoughts? What can I do with my efforts? Because at the end of the day, you control yourself. That's all. You're not going to control your brothers, your sister, parents, kids, uh, relationship. You're not going to control them. To, it's just not going to change their minds, change their feelings. But all, all you have in every situation is what can I do to make it better? Really. 
know what I'm saying? So for me, uh, for me, it's like every situation I'm in, what can I do to make it better? That's all. You know, because it's it's e- the easy thing to do is say, "Ah, look at this person. They're 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 not doing it right." Right, chat. That's the easiest thing to do. Point fingers and say this person's wrong. One million. Isn't that easy to do? Oh, look at these people. They're wrong. This person's wrong. You know, this person handling wrong. They're feeling right. But the toughest thing to do is is really accept what can I change? You know, how am I making this whole situation better? As opposed to just, bro, they're they're ruining it, you know? Yeah. But Alpha, that's what I'm talking about. The news though. And that's what I mean about the riots. Lightweight worked because that's has all we've been seeing on the news for a whole week. It did. It did work. Be honest. Burning down, burning down that shit, it worked. It is a national story. It is a worldwide story. It is the biggest news that happened in a year that has already been super nuts, right? Yeah. Earl Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, Spartan. I feel like every news category has a uh, an agenda. Really, they just have an agenda. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they want to... Like I said, propaganda is the word, really. That's the word. But, like I said, man, I don't know if you guys want to talk about anything else. That's on you. Uh, me, myself, I'm... Like I said, the biggest thing is you can't tell people how to feel. And you can really only control yourself. You know, so and just pointing out all the negatives that other people are doing in this this time is is not the move really. Yeah, I don't know what the Earl Thomas. I, I didn't even know that was a story. I don't know, but anyway, man, I just want to get on from this, man. Yeah, ratings, rating. Ah, not it. I think obviously the news the news channels have their political ties, for the most part. Yeah, for sure. But I, and the, I, I got and that's the people are mainly sad and right. And I always feel like love conquers everything. And most of the world is is you know generally good people. You know that's how I feel. You know. I'm glad you're right about that. Hot taste of the move. It's all about. I guess so. I don't know. But I just wanted to talk about it a little bit with you guys. We're about a half an hour into this. Uh, Want to get to the Madden stuff. I got a lot of big news. Got a lot of things to talk about Madden-wise, man. Uh, now, one thing we've always talked about on this show, right? Uh, one thing we've always talked about is why don't we play Mutt? You know, Mutt is the mode that drives all the content for Madden. I I don't know if it's the most balanced mode in the game. I really have no idea. Um, but we always thought it would be a good idea to get some of the best players in the world uh, to play Mutt. We've always thought that. You know, we thought uh, if we get the best players in the world to play Mutt, then boom. Now we're getting all the eyes of people that love to watch Mutt, love to watch pack openings, love to play their season so they can see what the best players in the world are doing with the unlimited mutt roster, right? Uh, and and I've thought, man, it's the middle of the summer, right? Uh, it's the middle of the summer. Uh, man, there's no more MCS. Uh, now's a great time to have, I think, a mutt tournament. I really think it would be awesome to see the best players in the world play unlimited mutt and see what they do, see what offense they pick, see how well they're going to execute, and see who comes out on top, see who's the best. Uh, I think that would be great uh, for the game to watch. Uh, mic'd up players. I think it would be great for the game. Now, listen, I am the network, JC. Media Gaming is the network, so if you guys have any ideas to make this event better, um, 
you guys just i'm telling you it's, you guys can help me with this event now i'm shooting for two weeks right because what i want to do is i, I really want to market this thing i want to get more sponsors i want to do my best to try to get this prize pool as high as possible i think if we can get say right say if we got five thousand dollars for this tournament and make it that much better you know and i think the more marketing we do the more promoting uh the more money we can get you know and i don't want these guys essentially what i want right essentially what i want is to be able to pay all these players to pay and play in this you know not only have a chance to win but hey you want to play in this tournament we're going to invite you and pay you 200 bucks right i'm saying that's what i'm saying Pot Jera, that that that's that's pretty much what my goal is with this. Now, I'll be honest, I I would I it for me it's tough to um ask people to play Madden because I, I people ask me to play different events and everything and it's like okay at some point man it's like this is my job and you know I'm uh, I am somebody that needs to get paid to do some stuff you know because I bring X more eyes on every event that I play in or everything I do like eventually my channel and my brand is you know you guys got to pay me to do certain stuff you know so i reached out to 16 people um now i'll be honest to tell you all 16 people um all 16 people have locked in all 16 people are locked uh the people i picked are probably the biggest streamers of men uh, as far as competitive men and uh being good at the game and you guys all know all these players uh whether it be youtube whether it be twitch everything you know my man franchise with the gifted. If you that's what I'm saying, franchise. There you go. I appreciate it. But let's take a look at the I will show you guys my list of people that I actually this is this is the list that I came up with. I'm saying now this is the invitation. This is gonna happen. Hopefully in a, in a perfect world, two weeks we can get this prize pool up. I'm gonna put five hundred dollars out of my pocket into the prize pool. Of my money, W money, five hundred dollars. So the least, the least amount of money we're gonna give away is five hundred bucks, Chat. That's the least amount, okay? Oh man, where am I at? There it is. Okay, so here's my list. User against Mo. Yeah, I think one day the M MCS should do something like this, a little invitational, everything like that. But this is the first person I have on my list is Joke. I hit up Joke, the Man and Bolt champion, is the first person on my list. 100%. Got to get, if you're not going to have the champ, how are you going to have, how are you going to have a man tournament, right? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You're not going to have a man tournament without the best player in the world. Boom. Yeah, we're probably just going to do single limb. That's all. We're going to get it done. We're going to run through it. Uh, probably be three hours, something like that. Next person I got, K-Mac. One of the biggest mutt streamers. Probably one of the best mutt players in the world. I don't know if he's number one. But, you got. I mean, if you want to have a mutt tournament, you want to have a man tournament, I feel like you got to have K-Mac in it. Boom. So, right there, we got two players. Next player I got in this one, Chaos. Chaos, once again, a great streamer, YouTuber. Good player, you know what I'm saying? So those are my first three players that I reached out to. Like I said, all 16 people I reached out to said they were down to do this. Next player, I got Zan. We got Zan. Going to play some comp, man. Excited to see Zan uh, versus all these goons. Uh, and, and honestly, for me, like I'm saying, I might seed this out, chat. I might seed it out. We might do seeds tonight. We might do, we might, unless you want to do a random bracket or do seeding. Next person I got, Fancy. I absolute demon Fancy. I feel like you got to have Fancy. You know what I'm saying? You got to do Fancy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's been one of the best players. I feel like he goes 25-0 and and sweats out weekend league every weekend. Next person I got, Throne. Don't think he's very good. I really don't think he's getting out the first round. But he's going to be in here regardless. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's going to make it out. But he might make a run. He might not. Jay Wall, probably one of the best offensive players. One of the best offensive players this year. 
put him out there. Been streaming a lot. All him and his boys have been grinding all weekend. Roll down the Bugatti. You got to put the bus token on the list. If you're going to have a man tournament and you don't have the Bugatti, what's the point, right? Boom. Scroll down a little bit more. The best player in the world. Cleft the God. I really honestly think the only person that could beat him is me in a mic game. Um, I'm saying. Go back down. We got Maze. Phase Maze. My guy's been grinding streams all all summer, all year, really. He's really been popping. Want to see him out here playing all the comp and everything. Boom. Next person I got, BG. BG the ball demon. I, that's another guy. Got to be in the tournament, right, chat? Got to be in the tournament. Got to be. Next person I got, the Joker, man. The Joker, man. You got to have the TikTok, man. You got to have the TikTok the superstar on the list, right? Bandana Journey. Next person I got on the list, CC. I don't know last time CC played an important game of Madden, so it might get bad for him. But, uh, you know. We'll see if he can he can get, get through here with a win. Content creator, CC. There he is. Next person I got on the list, D. Croft. Madden Bowl finalist, LCQ winner, absolute dog at the game. Next person we got, Noah. Boom. Noah, the Madden Challenge champion. Uh, so right now we got Noah on here. We got Joke on here. Uh, and last but not least, the last person on the list, Pavin. Boom. That is my list. Those are the 16 people I picked out that mo mostly, obviously, it's not, you know, Volt's not on here, uh, Kiv's not on here, Moe's not on here. This is more of, like, uh, guys that stream and are still good, are still competitive, you know? Guys that put out content and are still really good at the game. Ban running? No, running not banned, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I pretty much tried to pick out, you know, the 16 people I could reach out to that, that play, stream, put out videos and everything that. I will tell you I, who I lost to on the list. I honestly probably want to say everybody but Zan. And Books. And Maze. And BG. I don't, I don't know. My, I mean, my record is not that good against this list, really. Although, I think I'm like 2-1 one, and one versus Boogs in tournaments. I'm like 0-2 oh versus Joke. I'm like 0-2 oh versus Journey. You know what I'm saying? But really, I'm going to... I am going to... Uh, yeah, I am going to work. At, with All these guys are locked in. That's something I was happy that all these guys said, y'all play. Uh, I have $500 out of my pocket we're going to put up to it because I want to make this thing pop because I think this can kind of help unite Mutt and Mutt, the Mutt world and the competitive world. I think that's one of the biggest obstacles and biggest goals that we have going forward in Madden is that to unite those two fields would be super uh, beneficial for everybody competitively because competitive is little, we're little potatoes and if we can unite to the Mutt guys, it would be definitely cool. All right, I, I wonder if we could do that. You think uh, that's, I say that in my own ream. Um, for me, maybe we'll get a GoFundMe. Could we do a GoFundMe and then put money? I don't know how, you know. Yeah, but once I beat Volt and Mutt, I realize he's not that good a Mutt player, bro. Like, listen, all these guys have a lot of accomplishments, but I don't know if any of these guys actually beat Volt in Mutt Unlimited. I don't know. I don't know if it happens. I just feel like th I feel like thirty-two people would thirty-two people would draw it out, and thirty-two people would be like, I feel like this is this is, a, I feel like sixteen people is a great number. Because it's not an all-day thing. It's not a four- or five-hour thing. I mean, you, we could probably get this done in three hours. You know, and production-wise, you get in and out. Um, and it it just keeps the viewer's attention. And I feel like it's easier to follow. Uh, for, a, for, a, for a casual, it's easier to follow less people in the tournament. Like It's easier to follow a Final Four than a Final 64, you know. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to my I'll talk to my guys. Like I said, I want to reach out to more. I reached out to Players Lounge. Uh, I'll probably reach out to Cody Mudhead see if he they want to slap their name on this for a couple hundred bucks, and then we'll add that to the prize pool, man. Because honestly, actually, the other thing, uh, Skimbo's actually going to commentate this with me. You know what I'm saying? Me and Skim, we're going to talk, and then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, man. That's what we're going to do. I reached out to Skimbo. I said, yeah, let's just do the commentating, and it'll be fun, man. Yeah, so that's pretty much that. That's pretty much the goal because I knew Skimbo wasn't one because Skimbo the type if he don't got a million reps in the game he's not gonna play in it really. That's that and that our goal is to get the people that love mutt and love watching mutt over here to to watch Madden. But uh, racer man, we don't need yo. Do you understand what I do on the microphone? You guys, we don't need any of those guys. I'm an absolute microphone savant. Okay. A microphone savant. So yeah, I, I I really didn't think about Gut Fox. Gut Fox, I probably would have reached out to him if somebody didn't add, didn't uh come back. But I, I never thought of him as somebody that would play or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. That's I'll figure out a way to do it while we can raise some money. Honestly, really, really. That, that's how I feel, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna keep working on it. I want it to be a bigger deal and and maybe make it a monthly thing. What do you guys think? Like, uh, all right, grave, relax. Or maybe I mean I think a yearly thing would be cool, but I, I we'll see. We'll see. But I and that's a nice question. Do you think I should seed these guys on what I think their seeding would be, or do you want me to do it random? What do you think's better? What do you think's better? I think honestly, seeding these guys would would be cool. Would be a cool, um, would be a cool, uh, a cool content. Honestly, I see a lot of randoms though. No one wants to see CC joke in the first round. Is CC all right? All right, let's see. All right, let's see these guys though. Look at let's let's see them. Let's we gotta see them. We gotta do it now. Donnie, you're not uh, Donnie. I don't know if you're a seed guru. Let's let's look here. All right. All right, let me see this. So we got to. All right, Joke got to be the one seed. K-Mac is 12. All right, Joke is. Who is the two seed? I think Pavin, Pavin or Clef got to be two seed. Let's do that. Let's see who two seed is. Pavin or Noah? Or shit, I mean, D. Croft just lost in the finals. Why can't he be two? You know what I'm saying? I'm going Pavin. I'm going Pavin two seed. Three seed. I got to put D. Croft three seed. This isn't seed. I just got to remember their names. Who did I just bring down here? Who who was this? Chaos. All right, all right, all right. I feel like my first three seeds is good. I feel like I gotta go Clef now. I feel like I go Clef for the four, right? I'm going Clef for the for the four. Then Noah's up here too. Clef for the four. Drini. I'm putting Drini in the five. Or Noah in the five. I'm putting Drini in the five. Then I feel like we gotta put Noah here, right? It's Mutt, so y'all don't like D. Croft, Clef, and Drini and Mutt? Y'all sleeping on there. Yeah, y'all sleeping on Drini is gonna be tough on Mutt. Stop it. Y'all put, alright, Fancy. So Fancy over Noah? Are we going fancy over Noah? 
Fancy or no, chat. I'm not putting. I yo, I can't put fancy over Drenny. I don't care if it's mutt, bro. I don't care if it's mutt. I don't care if it's flag football. I don't care if it's it's, it's electric table football. I, I'm not putting fancy over Drenny. No, I'm not. I don't give a fuck what mode it is. It's Drenny. Drenny got two belts and like a quarter million dollars. <laughs> I'm out on y'all. All right, we put fancy third though. Or uh, right here, we will put fancy here. So where are we at now? So I feel like we got. I feel like we had to put no one here. All right, see, that's what I mean. This is what I mean. This is the people I have to unite. This is the people I have to fucking unite. Is you guys that think because fancy goes twenty five and zero, he's the best player in the fucking world. That's what the people. You absolute. You 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 cockroach bots are the guys I have to unite. Oh, he won twenty five on weekly. He's the best player ever. But like what? I, I, it's the same kid I just saw could not score in LCQ in, in the finals. Could not score. Couldn't get a first down. But he's the best player ever because he's going 25-0 in weekend league. You guys are the problem. And this is why we are uniting the Mutt community and the competitive community. For real. Damn. I'm putting Noah here. Y'all got me fucked up. Because Noah don't stream. Noah don't stream. No, it don't stream weekend league 25 and 0 all the time, man. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about, Javi. You feel me? Fancy not scoring on Noah. You got him chopped. But who we got here? Who we got after Fancy? Where's where's when, when does J Wall get in here? When does BG when does CC get in the list, bro? Who's next, bro? Clef already on the list. Bugs? Nah, Bugs gonna be down. K Mac, I, I feel like K Mac could be pretty high right now. I'm feeling a K Mac. I'm feeling a K Mac J Wall. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling a K Mac J Wall. Boy's gonna be down there. Zan? K Mac or J Wall? Who y'all got right here? Clef is on. Bro, why are y'all saying names that I'm already on the list? My like, God, I hate y'all today. I'm putting K Mac here. I gotta remember these names because I'm gonna delete them and not know. All right, then I'll probably put J Wall. Who? I feel like we're forgetting somebody. Throne is th yo. I, th I feel like Throne was bottom four. I think this is my top eight, ain't it? No, that's eight. Eight, nine. All right, so we got seven more. Where are we at with it, chat? Where are we at with it? Thrown now? Thrown over bugs? Okay, man, you might be right. I mean, that's not bad. Thrown the you know the cover three invert. Bugs then BG? Sorry, who y'all got? Y'all got bugs or y'all got thrown? Who y'all got in the battle? That's where I'm feeling I'm going right now. Bugs are thrown. Thrown over bugs? I mean, y'all putting thrown, but I mean, this is Bugatti Bugs, 19 live events. Is BG that hell and mutt, bro? Is B BG. Where does CC get in the list? So we got like, all we got left is Chaos, CC, Zan. Chaos, CC, Zan, and who else? Chaos, CC, Zan. I think that's it. And who's the third? Who's the fourth? Maze. All right, yeah, Maze. All right, so <laughs> bottom four. Where are we going with our bottom four? CC next. So CC good there. All right. Where we got Zan? So we got Zan Chaos. All right, who y'all got? But all right, rank these guys: Zan, Maze, Chaos. Zan, Maze, Chaos. Maze is last. 
Oh, y'all on the Zan train. Okay. Oh, y'all on the Zan train. Okay. How's that looking? How's that looking, chat, for our, our seating? How's our seating looking? How's our seating? <laughs> CCS? Or <laughs> what? My man King with the holes, man. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why all this fancy love, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's the fancy love. All right, switch maze and K. I don't, I don't like chaos being last, bro. He's been to live events. He was in the ultimate league, bro. I, I can't. He can't be last on this list. I don't care what mode it is. I, I hate when people say, oh, it's Mutt. So Joke not going to be good? So Pavin not going to be good in Mutt? Journey's not going to be good in Mutt? That's what I'm saying. Nobody's scoring 13 on Mutt. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, y'all tripping. Y'all think y'all think fancy just that hell, huh? Oh, y'all think fancy just that hell, bro. Yeah, I just think fancy. That, okay, okay, fancy. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Now, is there any? All right, now as we look at this list, chat. Like I said, me and Skimbo will be on the call. This is what I ask you guys: Is there anybody that's not on this list that you guys would want to watch play on the list? Like that's underrated, like a mutt guy. Not maybe not even like a streamer that you think is really tough. And nobody, if you say Ryan Hollins, you're getting banned. Gene, <laughs> take BG off. BG's a dog. TNC Justin, Jesus. How to stop fancy, bro? Put a mid read out there. Don't shade nobody, bro. I don't know, bro. Sometimes on mutt, on mutt, I will tell you this, bro. On mutt, yo, them hook curls be bagging. Earl. Yeah, Earl got to be on the list, bro. Yeah, Civil was probably my last, like, he was probably, like, the the last one. I, uh, he was probably next on my list, really, to shoot out, to uh, ask to join, really. Earl's on the next one, bro. User. When the last time y'all seen user stream chat? Yo, we should have an Earl, Earl playing game. An Earl, <laughs> Earl gotta get a playing game, bro. Yeah. Oh, damn, I hit the wrong display. Y'all ain't even been... Oh, shit, I'm tripping. My fault. I didn't have y'all chat on the screen or nothing. My fault. But anyway, this is my idea. I am going to work effortlessly the next two weeks. I, I want to shoot... What do you guys think? Like, a Saturday, Sunday vibes? I was thinking even like a Monday night, because there's nothing really popping on Mondays. What are you guys thinking as far as when you would want to watch this, man? And I don't want to be Saturday when it's when it's like... Just around everybody else. Uh, tons of dev different events. You know? You guys think Saturday's a move? Thursday night? Now I'm just... When I think about this, is like... What day is there going to be no more Madden on? 
uh, what what days are going to be no other men to compete with? Because the more people we can get to watch the, this presentation, the more we can get sponsorship money and the more we can pay these guys, really. So that's the goal, you know. So if we're fighting against other other streamers, everything like that, we can't get as much money from our sponsors that we will eventually get for the needed gaming mutt invitation. Yeah. It won't be late. It will probably be around 8 p.m. no matter where it is. It won't be at midnight, bro. It won't be at midnight. You guys think a weeknight? I I'll talk to my guys and see. I got to make sure everybody has on the same schedule, too. Because that's most of I got to make sure all these guys are free. You know what I'm saying? You know. All right. But that's my idea. That's what I worked on. Like I said, all 16 people hit me up and uh, responded and are ready to lock in and play. It is dry midweek. All right. Here we go. Now, now I do want to talk about my awards. I did order my trophies. I reached out. I, I was looking at shitty websites for trophies, right? They were shitty. They looked cheap. But I found some guy in Columbus that makes custom metal and custom trophies. I looked at his where I said, dude, he can do anything he wants. So I reached out to him to get me trophies for the Needed Podcast MCS Awards that I will mail out to the winners. Now, I got five trophies. This is our. This is my locked-in five awards for the year. All right? We talked about this last week. We talked about player of the year, offense of the year, defense of the year, game of the year, and breakout player of the year. All right, those are my five event, five awards that we're going to have. Best crew, we could do that, but I'm not really sending a trophy. You can't send a trophy to a crew unless you get, like, a little shit trophy for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's really not a trophy-worthy, uh, whatchamacallit, presentation. So, when I do do the show, when I get the trophies, I'm going to do a show. We're going to put the suit on. We're going to do a Need a Podcast, the actual awards ceremony, once I get the trophies. Uh, it's probably said a couple weeks, or I don't know how long, probably two weeks or so. I talked to the guy the other day to get the trophies done. My man Golden Child right there with the Twitch Prime. So when I do get the trophies, we'll do a little ceremony throughout the summer. Uh, like I said, uh, so that's going to be dope. But I do need help. Zoom the winners in, the little Discord calls. That might be tough. Um... This is what I this is what I, I I will say. Um, I do need help. Defense, Joe going win defense and going win player of the year. Um, breakout player is going to be Noah for me. That that's how I feel. I, I feel like those those three don't need to get voted on. Chat. Do we all agree? Joe is player of the year. Defensive defense player of the year. And uh, Noah is the, my breakout player. I don't know rookie. I'm not doing rookie no more. I'm just doing breakout player. Boom. I feel like those three. Are locks. All right. I got two more that I want to vote on. I want to do best offense and best game. Kids defense was good, but joke. All right. Yeah. Like, all right. We already talked about this last week, but no, no one want to. No, I'm not. Though Those ones are not getting talked about. Do not bring those up anymore. Now I want to talk about game of the week or game of the year. That's the first one I want to give up. We're going to put a poll for game of the year. Now, Game of the year, if you guys remember, uh, we had Kiv. I'm going to go ahead. Kiv versus D. Croft, Seattle Club. Boom. Uh, D. Croft versus Henry in the Madden Bowl. We had Clef versus Henry in the Madden Bowl. And I think the last one I did was Mo versus Henry for the belt. Is there any other game you want? Any other game you guys want to put in here? Those are my three that I got. Kid versus D. Croft, Seattle Club, D. Croft versus Henry in the Man Bowl, Clef versus Henry in the Man Bowl, or Mo versus Henry for the Man Classic belt. That's what I want to do. I want to put this on three minutes. No additional votes, man. I For me, I got... Noah versus Taylor Gang. Yeah, that was rough. I got Clef versus Henry. Clef being down 10 in the second half 
and winning the game. But the vote is there. This is what's going to decide it. Get your votes in, boys. That's this. This is pretty much what's going to decide it. Um, hopefully, I can bring this up. You know, boom. There it is. Kind of there. So I mean, like I said, uh, the the Kiv Decroft game was actually right after the classic, and we were so happy because there wasn't that much running in it. It was just fun to watch. Um, Decroft versus Henry, obviously with that kick return, was a crazy game, and Clef versus Henry was Clef being down ten points in the second half. And, and Mo versus Henry, I thought that game was super entertaining. I really did. Uh, that last game was hell, really. Yeah, no one remember. It's it, it's kind of we kind of live in a. a you know, what have we done for each other lately type of vibe. Or what have we seen lately. You know. Facts, West. As soon as they spammed it. Bro, how do we have... We don't even have 100 votes. What are some of y'all doing right now? That's what I want to know. That's why we can't have good things, chat. Henry was definitely in sweat boxes all year, chat. All year he was in sweat boxes. Oh yeah, that's the, the I don't know when it's gonna be though, Fitz. Yeah, Wesley versus Mills is pretty good. I gotta figure I gotta figure out a date. Uh probably be within the next two weeks, definitely. You know, but like I said, we're gonna give some time to get some sponsors and really uh up the prize pool. You know. Hey Jesse, you Jesse, you must have been gone for the last hour, huh? Really just gone. Uh play oh play of the year. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, that's gotta be one too. Play of the year. That's Volt though. That's a lock for Volt, right? There's no other play. There's no other play that can beat that. But any other plays for the year? The Clef scrambling for a touchdown was cool. Kiv had that fourth and goal versus Decroft with no time on the clock. That was hell. Uh, my man Jordan with the tier one. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah, we got defensive player of the year. Boys black kick was not player of the year, man. But like I said, that's that's a topic that's already locked pretty much for vote. Soccer balls. There it is. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So this one, Clef vs. Henry, game of the year. That's what you guys got. Man, forget the Snickers, bro. Donnie, nobody cares about the Snickers, bro. All right, last one I want to get is best offensive player. Uh, I don't even know who's on this list, really. I, I feel like offense this year wasn't spectacular. I feel like I really, like, you know? Yeah, Kurt Tobin did throw a super dot. You know, so the four people I'm gonna put five people on this list for you guys. All right, we're gonna put Pavin, we're gonna put Clef. Who else? Give me names D Croft. I feel like Joke has to be on the list, bro. I feel like Joke has to be on the list. And Henry, I think that's good. Yeah, Tom, I think that's a good list. I got five people. I got I got Pavin, Clef, D. Croft, Joke, and uh, Henry. You know. I think that's a good list. Like I said, I don't think Joke is the most high-powered offensive player, but uh, he definitely... um. Had the best offense pretty much every tournament. You know? I'm going to put this down to one minute vote. Are you guys ready? This is for offense of the year, boys. Let's see what we got. I'm voting for Clef just because I want him to win awards. Let's see what we got here, boys. Pavin running away with it right now. Running away with it.
Damn, Joke didn't get a vote. He don't want the most money. He got one vote, okay. Damn, we all gave Joke one. But Joke really voted for himself. Bluff somebody else. Joke, that Joker Little Man is that one vote. Confirmed. And Little Man is trying to log on his other Twitch account to get another vote for Joke. Up oh, there it is. He logged on his other account. <laughs> got a vote. He got another vote. Bang, Pavin, offense of the year. Not bad. That's who I probably would have picked. Um... That's where I would have picked uh, Pavin, honestly, if I had to. So, like I said, so we'll have player of the year, offense of the year, defense of the year, game of the year, breakout player, and play of the year. Those are the six awards we're going to have. I got to hit my guy up and make another trophy. So, the trophies are going to be tough. Going to mail those all out to uh, the winners and stuff. So, that's going to be awesome. Thanks. Now, now I do want to talk. Uh, what do I want to talk Wishlist. It's wishlist time, boys. Your favorite time of the podcast. Wishlist time where we add things to our wishlist. That's what we do. I'm saying. (sighs) You guys love it. I love it. The YouTube loves it. YouTube, add your thoughts and thoughts and concerns and promises. Let's go ahead. Now, you guys know what we do here. We have a pipe dream wish list. We have realistic wish list. We have to add at least one thing to each wish list every week. Mutt practice mode is already on the list. Boom. What else do we need, chat? Um, field the punts. Uh, that is a good, good one, really. All right, before you guys type, now listen, before you type your stupid ass comments, I want you to read the seven things we have on the list. There's not 77. It will take you literally eight seconds to read all these things. I'm saying? So before you type your dumb ass little comments, I want you to read these to make sure that what you're about to type isn't already on the list. All right? Just save us all some time, man. People are watching this. They don't want to read your comments and say, oh, that's already on the list. Like, it goes back to the thing. Can I figure out the answer to this before I ask it? All right? Damn. Oh, damn. Yeah, well, I'm ass. All Madden, bro. Listen, this is the number one thing I want in Madden. That we've, I, I, I don't think it's ever going to happen, though. I really had no idea it's going to happen. Why the hell is there no... Why ha- Why has this never been a thing for so long, chat? Who remembers hardcore back in the day? I know you guys remember this PS2 days. Why has this never been a thing in the game? Why? Y'all don't remember hardcore. Y'all don't remember hardcore. PS2? They don't remember those, man. Yeah, I honestly feel like... I I, I, I don't think drop picks are... I, I really don't think they're a big deal. Defensive pass interference. Jesus Christ. My man Dave on the 30 months. My guy. Thank you. Friendly quits? Honestly, because I feel like they're going to... I never understood why you want a friendly quit. And on top of that, I feel like there's always something glitchy about it where they can freeze. They can freeze the... uh, They can freeze your, your connection and some shit like that. You know? Like, go off or friendly quit, decline real quick, then turn off your Xbox for freezes them or something. Then turn the game off. Who the f- who, who does that? Who does... Oh, oh, it's the second quarter. I got to leave, though. Like, give me an example. Seriously. Give me an example of why you would play a Madden game second quarter you got to leave. Give me an example. I want an example. 
You got to shit. That's what I want to say. You got to shit. Okay, just turn the game off and go shit, bro. Okay, so because you did not change your playbook, I should have to quit. No, get out of here. My house is on fire. Yeah, let me worry about my win-loss record while my house is on fire. One time I had to go eat. What do you have? What is this, the mess hall? You're in the military, you have to go eat at a certain time? Bro, the crowd affecting play art. Physicals, I don't know if you guys remember. Some One NCA was like that. Bro, do you guys ever played a one NCA game? Where the crowd would go shake and your wide receiver routes were like... <laughs> And you had to do them shits twice. Bro, that was actually hell. It was, but it's, it's not, like, competitively tough. I wouldn't mind it, like, on Weekend League. Like, really. Yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't hear you, right? You had to hot route them twice. Yeah, it definitely, definitely should be in CFM. I remember, like, in the CFM, once I made the playoffs, I didn't really care about home field. CFM, I think that's 1,000% a big deal. Really, should be. Linebackers jumping. What does an actual competitive mode mean? What does that mean? I want you to explain what that means. A competitive mode means what? Uh, that's one thing, yo. The the players on defense are rag dolls. They have no. They can't keep their footing. They trip over everything. That's a good point. Get rid of, why why would I get rid of delay fades? Why why would you get rid of delay fades? I've never seen somebody ever say get rid of delay fades. It's the easiest thing in the world to stop. Like it's really all you gotta do is man one person up on him. He can never throw a fade. I I would I would be cool with uh I have no problem with I don't know why a delay fade is bad. I how about a delay fade should never go all the way down the field. How about it should be like a fade you can snap and throw it right away when he releases, but if he gets to ten yards he curls and stands there. No, I love that I love that delay routes are triggered by the user. I, I do. That's a good thing. Now I'll ask you this, what do the yellow zones react to? Now, Jesse, well that's I feel like people have told me that has to do with their actual awareness is the rating. Get rid of escape bars. Alright, we're just saying anything, bro. Alright, I'm I'm done. Now we're just done. We're just literally saying anything. All we added was Madden, all Madden ranked. All Madden. Bring back fades. I mean, honestly, I think that's one thing that's kind of slowed down the passing game this year. Oh, uh, the other thing. Oh, the players on defense have no. We talk about that. The the, the players falling on defense. Um, the players the players have no footing. They have no balance. They they have no coordination. On defense is really actually terrible. Uh, so we want to make quick snapping better. Please add kickoffs. What?
interception camera. I honestly, I I'm good at the interception camera. I'll be honest with you. It happens to me sometimes, but I'm actually good at it. I'm good at knowing how to let go of the controller, when to let go of it, when to let the computer run, and then taking control again. I'm, I'm actually good at that. It definitely happens to me still, but I'm good at stopping that camera spinning glitch, really. I I love the runoff. I do. I, I feel like it shouldn't be in the middle of the game. You know? I think 30 second or I don't know or 60 or 6 minute quarter I think there's something too like in 40 seconds I think 40 seconds they said but that's football though like that's that's literally a football rule you want to you want to change every rule in the NFL All right, wish list goes. That's you want to have two people play Madden. Jesus. As you say, two people. I I think something that could be really cool for MCS is to have like a coach. All right, to have a coach like so you can talk at halftime and shit. And, like, stuff that he can record and then play in the broadcast. Like, you can talk almost in between plays and shit. That'd be, I think that'd be tough. Maybe not for every tournament, but, like, you have one coach and you get to talk to him in between plays or in between quarters and halftime. I think that'd be tough. I, especially just for, you know, viewership, for people watching would be tough. Yeah, I'm, I'll put fielding kicks. I also feel like you should always field a punt. Your player should always field a punt. I don't care if it's going to land at the one-yard line. I uh, know I spelled that wrong. Created player muck card. All right, we're going downhill. Exactly, dot something like that, man. Superstar knockout, my player. That'd be kind of tough. You know. Pipe dream wish. I need a dream. I need a pipe dream wish list. Come on, chat. Not an MC. We'll do an MCS wish list by another tournament, really, or another podcast. But give me a wish list. Something that you probably not going to happen. Almost impossible, but. ASAP. That's a good point. Auto flip should automatically flip. If the opponent flips the the offense, on top of that, on top of that, ASAP, the defense should switch should flip twice as fast as the offense.
Ah, uh, Rico defense would be impossible. Nah, Dave, that's corny. What do you want? You still doing podcast? Yeah. Yeah, shut the door. When are you done? When I'm done. You'll be the first to know. Hurry up. Crazy. All right, I think we have run commit, don't we? Custom uniforms. The one thing I'll tell you, I don't know how to put this in words, right? Chet, you know when you move a player on defense, right? And then you audible, right? That player is like frozen. When you reset your defense, it should unfreeze the players you move, right? Reset defense, unfreeze my players. That's probably one of the toughest things, man. Custom playbooks is for bots. Don't ever, but don't ever say custom playbook ever here. Don't ever say custom playbook. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Freeze. What is it? Reset play. Unfreeze. Different. Reset defense. Whoa! Why? Why are we? Why we got a big ass? What's going on here, boys? That's one thing that I, I absolutely wish was in the game. B dub, my guy. Yeah, custom playbook is terrible. I definitely do need a new pipe dream. I need a new pipe dream one. SC weekend league. SC is such a pain in the ass though, man. Because like to for people to make a salary cap with power ups. I'll put that in a pipe dream because that would be kind of cool. But that go back to so more people play mutt. They the mutt people would be furious, really. But me, what's up, man? Where you been at? Squads weekend league. That squads weekend league would be kind of tough. Yo, know, squads weekend league would be would be lit, wouldn't it? They should honestly have a squads weekend league every time, man. No, I feel like full refunds should be on realistic, really. Squad's Weekend League would be tough. I feel like they could have a Squad's Weekend League alongside regular Weekend League, though. Right? Why Why couldn't they have both, really? No, Tim. See, I, Flats should... Flats should be better. Flats should be better, but you should have to have... I feel like it's it's a good... Y'all you know, want skill gap... People can throw flats and get eight yards, and people can throw flats and get two yards. You know what I'm saying? Madden coach easier to obtain. Madden coach was super easy to obtain. Why Prater? Oh, you mean like your user? You can actually run fast as hell with your user. That's not a bad idea. Like if you get caught frozen, I can actually be fast as hell user in the ball. But then how about what about stamina, man? Maybe you then by the end of the play you wouldn't be that fast. Man, ask Madden. Why would you want to get rid of Ask Madden? Explain to me why would we want to get rid of that? Nah, I'm this is what I'm saying. This is realistic, bro. Boom. Like
like that. I feel like we're I feel like we're good this week. I feel like we're good on our list. I feel like our list is actually pretty solid this week, boys. I feel like our list is pretty solid. I feel like our list is pretty good. Oh, Pittman, yeah, that's the worst. When they give you ass Madden on fourth down, definitely the worst. I agree. Yeah, mini games, sometimes mini games would always be good. I I would play any mode honestly, and um also this and I feel like anybody would play any mode if they had the right rewards to it. You understand? Like if, that's what I feel about Superstar Knockout. Like, like let's be honest, like, it was corny, but Superstar Knockout had potential to be fun, right? Right, it had potential to be fun, but they never gave us any rewards for it. Right? If they would have put rewards, like even like squads rewards, where you can make if you win ten games, you can make a hundred k each or something for you and your friends. That would make that game so much more fun, really. Hmm. Make coins viable. I I don't think they'll ever do that, Tim. Yeah, the rewards are too trash. We would play no kids, th- yo. Kids kick field goals with Vinatieri for hours on end for rewards. Kids would play anything for rewards. Just how how it works. You know what I mean? That's all. Give rewards. Whatever mode you want to play, just give rewards for it, really. Yeah. A loot box would be tough. Like, the, the Superstar Knockout loot box. We went. You know how BR? You know how BR is like win 12 games in a row on MLB and you get you get the best players in the game? Bro, win 200 games on Superstar Knockout, you get... Golden tickets, such as such. You know? Really? Superstar knockout. Stats, for sure. Because, you know, stats on the cards would be super hell. Super hell. My Vic would have OD. As long as it didn't say fumbles. By the way, boys, this was the podcast, episode 82. Or 83? Did talk about America. Like I said, man, all you guys can do is, is how are you going to react to situations? And remember, man, you can't tell anybody how they feel and you can't change anybody's opinion on how they feel. That's what you have to realize. And be safe out there, man. Like I said, man, I ain't going out. I'm not going outside. I'm cool. That's all. But I appreciate all your support. The Mutt Tournament, I'm going to try to release a date uh, before the weekend's over. I, I, in a perfect world, uh, I would probably say two weeks from now, really, and hopefully get Buku money, uh, be able to raise that, um, and really get it popping for sure. Uh, really, we're gonna have a great stream. We're gonna have a great broadcast. Everything's gonna go great. Um, but this was the podcast episode eighty-three, so make sure y'all hit the like button.